I'm Ophelia Burden. I am an Earth and Space Science major. I am graduating in 2027. I am working under Dr. Marine Frown in the College of Arts and Science Department of Geosciences. And I'm working on a multi-method approach to luminescence dating in the late Pleistocene, early Holocene in the southwestern Kalahari, specifically in Botswana. Luminescence dating is a type of geochronology where we're dating minerals like feldspar and quartz. And a lot of this is used to help archeology span because luminescence dating can go as far back as 600,000 years, which is a very big part of human evolution. A large part of luminescence dating is sample prep. So I worked a lot in the dark lab where I sipped samples through various layers of mesh. And then we did a lot of chemical treatment, which removed carbonates and organic compounds. My family are all artists, so it was quite a shocker that I was interested in science. When I was 10, for some reason or whatever, I stumbled across this documentary about the Voyager missions, which NASA launched in the 1970s and they flew past the outermost planets. And at the very end of the mission, NASA decided to turn the probe around one last time to just kind of see if we could see home. The suspended in a sunbeam is a very, very small speck. And Carl Sagan called it the pale blue dot. And it's, that's our home. Like that's, that tiny little speck is our home. And it just made me so interested in what else is out there? What can we, learn from the Earth that can help us learn about space and life on other planets. So that kind of documentary was like a turning point in my life. Being a Vallee Fellow has introduced me to so many interesting people in the Department of Geosciences, as well as just through the program as well. And I want to get my master's and my PhD, so talking to these people really opened my eyes into all these different pathways I could take. Also, I am dyslexic and have dyscalculia, so school's very hard for me, especially in college. I've really felt like the weight of my disability, so it's really nice to be able to be given an opportunity where I can show my skills and excel without the burden of my disability. It's really, it's been really nice. Well, the end goal is to be an astrobiologist working at NASA, and I would love to do all sorts of research and what the Valet Fellows have given me the opportunity to do is to kind of show schools like master's programs and PhD programs that I can do research and that I have experience. I would like to thank the Valet Fellowship as well as the Panafil Foundation and the College of Arts and Sciences as well as the staff working there for allowing me to have this amazing opportunity this summer.